tunaangalia mid point mid point of a line segment tunaangalia mid point of a line segment now the mid point of the of the of the, of the, of the line segment is given by this it is x2 plus x1 over over 2 and it is y2 plus y1 plus over over 2 kwa maana hiyo x tunaipata kwa kuchukua x2 plus x1 over over 2 na wale tunaipata kwa kuchukua y2 plus y1 over over 2 hiyo ndio mid point example find the coordinate of the mid point of the line joining the points this one and this one now you have negative 4 comma 7 and you have 1 comma negative 18 now this is the x1 this is the x2 this is the y1 this is the y2 now our mid point is given x comma y that is equal now to x2 plus x1 over over 2 comma it is y2 plus y1 over over 2 now remember here we have x2 is 1 now x comma y x2 is 1 plus x1 x1 is negative 4 over 2 comma now y2 y2 is negative 18 then y1 is 7 over over 2 now from here we have these points it is now 1 plus negative 4 which now is equal to negative 3 over 2 comma now negative 18 positive 7 which now is equal to negative 11 over 2 now our point now our mid point is x comma y which now is equal now to negative 3 over 2 comma negative 11 over 2 this is what we call it a mid point now in short determining the mid point is all about finding the sum of all points in terms now we've been given two points now the sum of this and this and i mean the sum of x1 and x2 over 2 plus i mean comma y2 plus y1 over 2 this is how we can determine the mid point of the line segment now how this is formed now this is how now we do consider now you have this point p and r we are talking about p r this is the line p r but the mid the mid point of this line is q the mid point of this one means from here from here to here is equal to distance from here to here distance distance as a rico alaiko manake umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa na uelewe hiyo kwa sababu kuna mahala ikatumika halafu utaanza kuniuliza hapa imekuwaje mwalimu now the distance from here to here is equal to the distance from here to here this distance this lens is alaiko sawa kwa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa hiyo ni point muhimu sana considering angles we have Triangle PCD and triangle QDR. We have QDR and PQC. These are the triangle about Naso. Sasa, kwa kutukua is hapa triangle. Sasa, naomba tukumbushani. Alama hii hapa ina manisha nini? Eh? Now, similarity. Means what? This triangle and this triangle are like. Kwa triangle hii, Na triangle hii zinafanana. Ingia. Sipotezea mtaangu. Kwa triangle hii na triangle hii zinafanana. That's why we have written triangle PCQ is similar to triangle QDR. Are we together? If now that is the case, we remember according to similarity. We have PC over QD is equal to PQ over QR. PC, this is the PC over QD over
over QD is equal now to PQ, PQ over QR. Now, PC, QD. Now, this one divided by this one. This length divided by this length. Is equal now to this length over this length. This is what I've written here. Is equal now to QC. QC over RD. Sasa, if now you look at here, to me and a point. Hapa ni x1, y1. Alafi hapa point ya pili ni x2, y2. Sasa, tuwa shumu nini point yetu ni x na nini na y. Sasa, distance ya hapa na hapa manake kutokana na hizi side tulizo kwa nazo. Manake itakuwa ni x minus x1. Kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. X, X minus X, X1. Then, kumbuka na hapa, kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. We are talking about this side, the change of points. Ambapo wasa tayari hapa, tutakuwa na Y, Y minus Y1. Ambapo wano limeandika hiya. Kwa manero, change in Y, here it is. Change in X, here it is. The same applied to here, change in X, is the x2 minus the x. The same applied to the change in y is y2 minus y. Tayari ya kutapata change in y, change in x. Change in y, change in x. Pama leo, tayari hapa, by considering, using pc over qd is equal to pq over qr. Hii tukitumia hii hapa, pc. Remember pc is definitely here. PC is X minus X1. Meandika up X minus X1. Then we have QD. QD. Where is QD? Right here. QD is X2 minus X1. Meandika up X2 minus X1 is equal to PQ over QR. Sasa kumbuka, tumesema points moja. Remember, Q is the midi point of PR. Q is the midi point of PR. Manake ni, kwamba PQ is equal now to QR. Nicho nicho ni meandika point ya. Kwa ni meandika hapa hindi, ambapo utaona kapisa kwamba, from PQ is equal to QR. Sasa, if now may divide by QR both times. Manake nitakuwa na PQ, is equal now to QR divided by QR divided by QR Amba huyu na huyu ata cancel Kwa itabaki PQ over QR is equal now to what? To 1 Amba unio here Now PQ over QR is equal to 1 Now if that is the case This PQ over QR is equal to 1 Remember PQ over QR is equal to X minus X1 over x2 minus x, which is equal to 1. Now, from here, it is over 1. Then, from here, you close multiplication. This time, this one, this time, this one. Hapa, and you put a x1 minus x, x minus x1 is equal to x2 minus x. Now, collecting the like terms means this is the x negative, which is taken to the other side. This now is the Negative is taken to the other side. Now, x and x becomes 2x. And this is what I've written here. Is equal now, this is taken to the other side, then becomes positive. I'm about to add x2 minus x1. Now, divide by two both sides. I'm about to add point x to taipata x2 plus x1 over, over 2. Sasa, by considering pq is over qr is equal to qc over r and d. Remember, we have that PQ over QR is equal to what? 1. Salaman, kwa sababu PQ over QR sasa na ngapi? Na moja. Kwa tunapachika hapa moja. Halafu na lifaa kwenye mcholo wetu. QC, kutoka kwenye mcholo wetu hapa, QC. QC, hapa ando QC. QC, ambao ni Y minus Y, 1. 
over RD RD ambao ni y2 manazi y ambao sasa tuna substitute halafu pia hapo tayari tumeshampatia moja kwa maana hiyo tunarudi hapa sasa kwamba if that is the case qc represents y minus y1 and rd represents y2 minus y1 kwa maana ni mani tuko pamoja ehe ambapo sasa lengo letu tunakusanya mitajo inayofanana now if that is the case we cross multiply ambapo hii mara hii hii mara hii ama baada ya y2 minus y1 is equal to y minus y1 collecting the like terms collecting the like terms sorry kwamba hii hapa ilikuwa ni y maana jamani sawa kutoka kwenye mchoro wetu ambapo sasa tayari huyu huyu ataenda huku alafu huyu atarudi wapi atarudi huku ambapo y na y watakuwa 2y sawa jamani kwa hiyo maana yake huyu hapa ni y peke yake 2y alafu huyu hapa atakuwa negative akija kwa atakuwa positive kwa maana itakuwa 2y is equal now to y2 plus y1 now let us divide by 2 both side by 2 both side kwa tuigane kwa mbili kwa upande maana yake y is equal to y2 plus y1 over 2 ambayo ndio hii hapa point yetu kwa ndipo sasa maana yake conclusion ni kwamba our mid point is equal to x2 plus x1 over 2 comma y2 plus y1 over 2 hii ndio kanuni ambayo sasa nimeiandika hapa inatupa mid point so sometimes you can be taught to the live i mean to show this formula don't be worried because something very simple now in order to determine the mid point of the line segment this is how we do thank you